Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of thecreditrepairshop.com. This is a continuation on the credit card debt video, but it, on how to pay off your credit card debt without uh, delivering pizzas like Dave Ramsey talked about, or without having to go out there and, and do something when you're already tired and been at work all day. Uh, not to say that that's not bad, not to say that you might not have to do that if you if you don't have some of the options available to you that I'm gonna talk about, but most people do have these options, and I think that this is very important, but also, what I wanna do is I wanna break it down even further. Uh, this is stuff that I really never did in my videos because I know that some people may have a hard time uh, understanding it. And also it could bring up some emotional issues because with each step, with each step that you have to take with stuff, uh, especially if you have to do it yourself, there could be, become a level of anxiety. People could get emotional uh, because people don't just you know, we don't just not pay our bills all the time because we don't want to pay them. Something usually happens. I think. Would you agree on that? Shake your head if you would. Like, clap, say, Steve, you're right. Something could happen. It could be something with your spouse, something with a kid, something where a car broke down, something with your parents. It could be anything. And yes, of course, it could be where you overspend, but we usually overspend because we're kind of uh, trying to fill a void in our life by putting material items in there. So there's a motion that's going to always be in there. And when we do this for our clients, uh, what they usually do is that, like it, when you hand it over to us to get it done, uh, it takes a lot off of their back. But then the, they are always wondering like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Because they want to know that uh, you know, there's, that the solution is going to end up working for them, and that's why we push hard to try to get a solution with these settlements because then they can say, okay, I can settle down and just know I have to work the process. Like one of the um, one of my uh, business clients yesterday, he's trying to buy a new car, doesn't want to pay the high interest rate, and they said you need to resolve some of this stuff on your credit reports. And he had medical bills, and these are medical bills that, that they're gonna have to be paid. And they were very expensive medical bills. And we were able to cut the first one, the highest one that he had from a shoulder, shoulder surgery, and it was the deductible payment that he had to pay with it. We were able to get that uh, reduced in half right now. And he, it's gonna allow him to be able to move forward because he was like, hey, half of that already paid for your fee and for all, a whole bunch of other stuff that I thought I was gonna have to pay just by just by focusing and getting that one debt uh, settled for him. So I'm gonna talk about these options here and I want you to follow me. I want you to get your pen and paper out. I want you to take notes because this stuff really does work, but you gotta do it in a certain order and you gotta know where you're at. So first we're gonna talk about people who uh, for option one of getting out of credit card debt, option one is for people who have good credit. And we're not talking about going out there and getting a debt consolidation loan and stuff like that, where you're just extending out your payments. There's nothing wrong with that. But we're talking about what, how you can you do this with the money that you're already making. So right here, option one is for people who have good credit. Uh, what you can do is, like I spoke in other videos, you can go out there and you can get payment deferments another option that you can add to enhance what you're doing so you don't have to worry about paying interest rates if you got good credit is you can do balance transfers also so you can transfer the balance on on your cards on your cards over to another card that may give you you know 60 or uh, one year with no interest and in that way with your payments that you're making you're not even losing on the interest you're just you're with your deferments you're able to just keep making those payments to get that uh, credit card uh, that credit card balance paid off. So using option number one, it will uh, you can get the deferments on your auto, on your car payments, your credit card, personal loans, everything. Just write a uh, 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 write down everything that you pay uh, pay monthly payments on, and then look at if they offer uh, deferment plans. Because what you're going to do is you're going to just get 
three to six months, whatever the longest period of time that they give you. And don't worry about them putting it on the back. Don't worry about them charging interest, even though it's deferred. All you want to worry about is if your credit is good, you want to just make sure that they put that on there, that it's deferred if they have to note it, but that it does not go against you with your credit. That's all you really care about. And then you can go out there and you, if you choose, you can get new cards with the balance transfer. Uh, you can keep the other cards if you're going to be disciplined. But just keep in mind, if you close the other cards, it's going to make your credit score go down. So just keep that in mind. But I don't want you to get back in trouble, though. So if you keep the cards that you transfer the balance from, don't go out there and, and get yourself into more trouble. And this will absolutely save your credit. Now, most people, uh, you know, you have a good group of people that are in this situation, but most people are going to be in option number two and option number three. Option number two is where you do this stuff yourself again. You know, because remember I said that a lot of people are, you know, a lot of you uh, that have issues with your, with your credit card debt and overall debt is that there was some stuff that was going on in your life that made this happen. And you have to... Be ready and willing to get yourself lined up to go over that, you know, to start going up that mountain to get this stuff taken care of. So the net, you still do the deferments, but now the only difference with option number two over option number one is that you're going to have to see if, you know, mostly a lot of your stuff is charged off. And if that stuff is charged off, obviously you're not making payments to that stuff anymore. Well, you need to start looking at where you're spending that money that used to go to that there. Maybe, you know, you went over your uh, head with all of these payments, but if you look at your budget, if you look at everything that you've been spending your money on, and, and I, you can go back to my other video to watch how I show you how to find that extra money that you're spending stuff on, but you need to look at what you can get with the firm. It's maybe you have an automobile, uh, loans, some other payments, some other personal loans that you're still paying on, you can get those deferred and utilize that money for settlements. But the the way that you can find that extra money, again, is what you do is for two weeks, for two weeks, everything that you buy, you get a receipt, everything. Put it in an envelope, and at the end of two weeks, you add up all of that money, and you will find that that's where all of your extra money is going. So, you're gonna get your deferments now. You're gonna to have to wait until your credit cards and, and other debt that, that you're gonna to wanna to look at settling, uh, mostly with credit cards, is that it's charged off. Once it's charged off, then you can start approaching them about doing settlements. They may not be able to uh, do a settlement if it's still with the original creditor. Some of them are able to, some of them are not. They just package them up and sell them to a debt collector. And then you know what, what would happen with that. We won't go into it in this video, but you'll be able to, to, to potentially not even have to pay that debt. Uh, but if, if it goes, if you're able to do settlements with the uh, original creditor, that would be your next step from utilizing the money from the deferments. You might have to, you know, make payments to them. You might be able to do it in a lump sum. That's going to be up, up to your negotiation skills. It is going to be, uh, you are going to have bad credit when you do this. That's the, there's no way around it. You need to have that, that understanding. That's why I tell people, understand where you're at with your situation. It is totally impossible for you to allow your uh, debt to go to go into a charge off status it's it's impossible for you to allow it to go into a charge off status and get settlements without ruining your credit that it's just no way to do that also you need to be aware that you could have lawsuits come after you uh even from the original creditor say you had a repo or you had a uh one of your credit cards with american express discover or capital one they are known for going ahead and doing lawsuits where they will hire a, a, an attorney in your area. It's usually depending on how much the balance is. They'll hire an attorney in your area and they will try to sue you. So you need to be prepared for that also. This this is mainly so you know what you're gonna have to deal with while you're, uh, and be prepared for when you're going through this. But still, even if they do choose to do a lawsuit, you have the original creditor, you can do your affirmative defense, but they're always, 
with all judges, they will allow you time to uh, work out a settlement. So that, so just to get that fear out of your head, that would be the worst of the worst is that you would lose and you would have to uh, do a settlement. Or when you know that you could potentially lose, you can work out a settlement with them based off the deferment. See right here, if you do this right, it's gonna make all of that fear and anxiety go away because you're gonna say, okay, I have the funds to do it. All I have to do is be disciplined with what I do with the funds. And that, that's a major part of it. And the great thing about this is once you are disciplined with doing this for yourself, you'll be able to move forward in your life. And as long as you keep that discipline, you'll never find yourself in that situation again. Now let's move over here to option number three. This is the option that most people take. This is the option that most people take. They'll call one of the debt relief agencies or one of the, the you know, they got non-profit ones, they got for-profit ones. And what they're doing is they're going out there settling the credit card debt. Uh, so what the what you have to know, what you have to know is that number one, you still have to go through the charge off phase. What these companies do is they have you pay the payment because what they're think what they're saying, this is this is their mindset, is that you're not smart enough, even if you do the deferments, you're not smart enough to put the money aside and 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 do the uh settlements. You're not disciplined enough to put the money aside. You'll just spend it. So what they want you to do is they want you to, and you can still utilize deferments to get the money, but they're going to require you to put money into a reserve. So they're going to say you have to put this money into a reserve account. And there's something that I want you to know about those reserve accounts that some people, that they don't tell you. This reserve money at any time, if you choose to leave their program before they do a settlement, you can get your reserve money back. But one of, the, one of the tricks that they use, and I'm not saying this to say that these companies are doing anything bad to people, but the way that their contracts are initi or, uh, go into action to where you can't go back is that they'll find one of the debts, one of the easiest debts that they can settle, even in, in I don't like that they do this, but they'll settle it for, 75% on on a dollar that you owe just because once they do that the 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 deal is sealed you can never go back reserve funds can never be uh recoup uh back from them and you and basically you have to move forward with their program that's just the way that they have to the, have the whole deal worked out so have that understanding uh that when you work with these companies that are going to do this work for you they're gonna uh, have that reserve and they're gonna quickly solve one of them and it could be for a higher amount just so they can sit and seal that reserve and make sure that they make a profit because it costs money for them to be in business. The next thing is that they're gonna, what they're gonna do is they're gonna line up all your debts and they're gonna, uh, they, you have to have them charge off. You have to keep paying a monthly payment to them and they're gonna let that reserve build up and then they're gonna, uh, as it gets to a certain level, and they know this from dealing with other companies, just like we know from dealing with certain uh, companies that there's a certain level that they that that they will listen to when you make an offer. There's always that certain number that they'll always listen to. And once it gets to that number, they will make the settlement offer. But the, the thing that you have to be careful with, with dealing with the debt settlement uh, companies and the debt relief companies is that they're going to charge a percent of 15 percent commission on that and it could be a little bit higher when you look at the fees so to break that down basically if you had a debt that was fifteen hundred dollars and they settled it for half say the company called them and said we want to settle this for half 700 what is that 750 they want to settle it you're like okay i got 750 dollars in my account right now from the reserve that I've been paying. They will not settle it because you don't have enough money because they want the 15%. So what we see these companies do is they make people go out there and get a loan for the whole amount, the 750 plus the 15%. Uh, they'll either make them get an entire loan or they'll make them get a loan for the 15%. 
it, it, I know that that sounds crazy, but this is what they're doing. And I've actually reviewed documents from these companies. And I'm like, why do you do that? Or they'll allow you to pay the, the uh, 15%. But they don't like telling people this because people don't understate. They're like, why do I got to pay you 15%? I thought that you were making money on the settlement. They do not. And I'm very confident in saying this. I've uh, worked with as a uh, uh, consultant with numerous companies, numerous national companies that are out there. This is exactly what they do. So I, I feel fully confident in, in disclosing that to people. Uh, the next thing that you need to be aware of is that you will have bad credit. I don't care what they say. They do not repair your credit during the process. No all they do, these companies, all they do, and again, I've worked with these companies as a consultant, they do not do any credit repair. None of them do. Absolutely none of them do. All they do is settle debt and they make a percentage on these debts here. Another thing is that you can be sued. They do not represent you in court. They do not. Listen to me. The debt settlement companies do not represent you in court. They do not write your court response. They do not do anything. Uh, they do have attorneys that do the back and forth with settlements, but they do not. Uh, most companies, when, they, when there is a back and forth communication with an attorney or someone who has power of attorney, they believe that as long as the communication is open and that there is back and forth communication, they will not pursue a lawsuit on this side, even if your communication is open with them, they may pursue a lawsuit, but if you have a third party in here, lawyer or a company like mine that's in the middle, they usually don't pursue because they believe that you really are putting in the work to get this stuff figured out and done, which is kind of crazy because you're not putting in the work, you hired a company to do it. But that's just the way stuff is. So they will, law. Uh, they, they, you can have lawsuits filed against you. Ha this has happened, you can look it up online, happened to a lot of people that are like, I'm in this debt settlement program, why am I getting sued? It's because the um, debt collector or the creditor, they that's a legal uh, option that they do have. So with our company, this is what we do. Uh, we do help people with doing debt settlement, but we do not charge a uh, percentage. We do work on a, uh, it, it depends on the amount that you have, uh, but we don't, we just charge a flat rate and we will work until it, until the job gets done. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. With uh, deferments, this is something if you, are not confident in it you can uh you know give our office a call and we will just kind of walk you through it uh basically it's very easy all you have to do is you can go to your uh your uh, creditors websites and you can look they'll usually have like a hardship section or have a page on there saying if you're struggling paying uh they have a number that you can call or, or email and you can kind of get all of the information uh if you're going to do the firmness what i would do is make it like a plan make it like a business plan don't just get one here and then you get one later no do it all in a group so you can uh see how much debt you can end up settling or how much debt you can end up paying off if you if you still have good credit because this is a very very good option i i love breaking this down because this is exactly how my wife and i were able to get ourselves out of debt and I know that this type of plan could work for you. If you need help with your credit, please visit us at thecreditrepairshop.com. Watch the video, What Makes Us Different, so you can see my eight-point validation process, my two-phase settlement process. If you need your credit reports and scores, go to the website, your, the number three scores.com to grab your TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian credit reports, and all three scores has all the information that you will need to be able to get something like this accomplished. If you have debt collectors coming after you, grab my three-pack of letters, statute of limitations, cease and desist collection activities letter, and my debt validation letter. Those three letters can stop debt collectors early in the game if they've purchased your debt from the original creditor. 
Thank you for your time. Please.